Uh, now it's be a lot of injection. A lot of injection. Yeah, yeah, around 10, 20. Yeah, but it's small needle. It's going inside and it's straight oh. in the muscle, and it's not so painful. Well, definitely be in the only in the forehead 22. How many? 22. 22 in the forehead. Yeah, oh. and uh, some two or three around the eyes. We have arrived in Wakefield. We are just on our way to an appointment with a practitioner who is offering Botulax injections. Botulax is an unlicensed product in the UK. The reason a practitioner might use this is that it's much cheaper, but obviously it hasn't been through the correct safety checks that other licensed products would have gone through. So obviously that's a huge risk because it's very difficult to say what the side effects could be. If it goes wrong, then a practitioner, a corrective doctor might not want to treat you or might be nervous about treating you because they're not aware what they're dealing with. We're going to go into the appointment together. Our story is that Charlotte wants to get this treatment, this unlicensed version of Botox, Botulax, and I'm going to pose as Charlotte's boyfriend, a reluctant boyfriend, and we'll pull out at the last minute. We'll make sure that we don't actually have any treatment and I'll be filming undercover. One of the practitioners we visited was Vilnis Karklands of Face and Body Aesthetic Clinic in Wakefield, West Yorkshire. We made an appointment with him after finding that he was among practitioners in the UK using social media to advertise unlicensed versions of Botox to young women for cheap prices. The drug he offered to use was Botulax, which is licensed in South Korea and other countries but not in Britain, so it has not gone through safety checks that other licensed products have had to be sold here. Upon arrival, he gave us forms that referenced the licensed version of botulinum toxin, of which the best known brand is Botox. He then came back with Botulax and asked us to write those details down instead. The product using you need like this, Botox. Can I have a look? What is it? Botulax. Botulax, yeah. On the, um, it says a different product here, Azalil. Uh, it's, it's just form. It doesn't matter. It's just a uh, brand different. We asked Karklins why he uses Botulax rather than products licensed in the UK, such as Botox or Azalea. His main reason appeared to be that it was cheaper. He offered to perform injections across three areas of my face for £145, about half the typical price. Because if you're doing Botox, definitely, I never can do discount 145 if I'm doing, I don't know, if I'm doing Botox, uh, Botox per 200, it does mean uh, Botox I'm doing per 380, maybe 400 pounds. Mm. Because product is, uh, you pay per brand. Clients receiving a licensed version of botulinum toxin are meant to have this prescribed by a registered prescriber, such as a doctor or a nurse with an additional qualification. The prescriber must only do this after a face-to-face -face consultation. Karklin said this wasn't necessary. What can go wrong with doing this? So as in it's not case and not it can go something wrong because if you know where you need to push it, something goes wrong. So nothing at all? No. Botulax is not the only anti-wrinkle treatment not licensed in the UK that is being offered to young women on social media sites. Other products included Inatox and Brentox. In total, we had three in-person appointments with practitioners across the north of England and confirmed they were using an unlicensed product. This is Samantha Bennett, an aesthetic practitioner from Manchester who visits people at home to do anti-wrinkle injections. You've got quite a lot of lines and you've always lines yeah. with you, so we'll get rid of all of them. Bennett suggested injecting me in 11 points on my face with either Inatox or Rentox. I do my own, watch her sit there and just do it, you'll be fine. Um, two weeks today, come back for your top up. Yeah. Um, just avoid any heat and things like that. Nothing can go wrong with Botox and I'm qualified to dissolve anyway. Okay. If anything ever did go wrong, but it never happened in the years I've been doing it. Save Face, a register of accredited practitioners, said women were increasingly reporting terrible side effects from anti-wrinkle treatments with irreversible damage such as lumps across their faces that would never totally fade. In most cases, those affected cannot be sure of the products that were used on them. For instance, a drug sold with Botulax branding in the UK could be a counterfeit version. There is no suggestion that these injuries photographed here were caused by any specific brand, and side effects can be caused by other issues such as poor hygiene or poor injecting technique. 
there is no suggestion that Kirkland's or Bennett botched injections or caused any of the harm in pictures of side effects sent to us. The yeah, interesting. Uh, British government not regulating, everybody can do injections, but there is uh, regulation, you not can buy product if you don't have medical grade. This is the regulation. Ah, okay. Yeah. You can do, but you not can buy. That means how you can work. Buying unlicensed versions of Botox online turns out not to be very difficult. We found several businesses selling botulinum toxins online, including Botulax. One of the companies is Schaffer Pharmacy Limited. We contacted them posing as a beautician seeking to inject clients. They told me I could order Botulax from them online and receive it the next day. Medicines and medical devices are regulated by the Medicines and Healthcare Products Regulatory Agency. They have begun an investigation after we passed our findings to them. Okay, I... <laughs> We're just, I think we... Yeah. Do you mind if we think about it more yeah, and come back? No problem, you yeah. sure? Yeah. I'm sorry to waste your time. We believe this is the tip of the iceberg and you know, for many customers they won't be asking what product do you use. While it's always good to ask about your treatment and what you're having, ultimately practitioners should not be using a product that is illegal for use in the UK.